Hi, Tommy Aldridge here. We're going to uh, revisit an Aussie classic, uh, Crazy Train. I mean, what an awesome song. I had the great privilege of recording it uh, on a few live occasions, and it's of course written by the great Randy Rhodes, and it's with Kerslake, Lee Kerslake played on the original studio version. I just tried to approach it with a little bit more, I don't know, hair and teeth, so to speak, trying to make it a little bit more vicious live, you know, and so forth, and so that's what this, this is. The intro, Crazy Train, uh, self-explanatory. We're just hitting, do some, doing some punches, the rhythm section, along with behind Randy's final, you know, one, two. That differs a lot from the original recorded version, but again, it's just my own personal take on it, just to make it what I thought I would play if I'd have been blessed enough to have been in on that session. Okay, because of the way that I played the verse section, uh, uh, again, it was a lot more open. I was just trying to make it heavier. Randy was always saying, heavy, heavy, let's make it heavy. Let's make it heavier. So if anyone led me up the primrose path, it was Randy Rose. And so as part of that, I was trying to give it a little bit of uh, nuance, so to speak, if you can have any nuance in this kind of music, but uh, a little bit of a dynamic. And so I was doing, it, doing the cymbal chokes on it through the verse section. I'll play it. technique that I learned because I wanted to choke the cymbal when I was growing up and I thought well I don't want to go when I did that my cymbal collection started growing and it was hard for me to reach across my body so I thought well how about choking it with the same hand I hit it with so so it's just hit it with a stick and glide your hand to the cymbal with a stick it kind of works as a, a guide, you know? It's a silly little technique, and so I incorporated that in the verse sections, just again, to give it a little bit of a dynamic and a little bit heavier and, uh, you know, uh, interesting life through that section. In the guitar solo section, I approached it a little bit different, kind of a triplet vibe. So that was just my approach on that section. And again, Randy loved that part. He said that it lifted, he wanted it to lift a little more. And so he encouraged me to, to get a little bit crazier through that section. And not to say that that's better or anything, it just kind of lifted the section through his solo, which, you know, we jammed it that way and that, that's the way he preferred it. He liked that, so we did it, we changed that section live, you know, or I changed my part through there. Before we get into the full performance, if you want to learn these things note for note, we got the full transcriptions. They got drumless tracks for you. If you really want to learn this tune note for note, over on Drumio, man, so check them out. They got everything you need to get the best out of these tunes, man.
very simple and like again like so many other Randy Rhodes compositions the songs are just so driving that they really play themselves and they have such cool they're so dramatic his music is just so just so dramatic you know and a drummer's uh, paradise so to speak lots of playground area you know and again I was so much more busy than the studio version which is appropriate I think you know when you're in a studio and it's more of a sterile environment and the producer keeps going Tommy, could you save that for your solo record? So you keep things a lot more sparse and just a lot less populated, so to speak. Have a little bit more economy in your style. <laughs> uh, uh, and so that was my live rendition of this particular tune. And a lot of fun to play. Thank you, Randy Rhodes.